I'm talking about the um, Fire Regency Osaka, Japan. And this is a Kona Queen King, I'm sorry, uh, 2009. And it, it's actually very spacious. So let's start with the bathroom. Um, I guess it's a sort of toilet paper there. Uh, slippers. Here you have a lucky strike and some hangers and a bathrobe. You can see that actually earlier. And if I turn a little bit, here we have a rather spacious bathroom. I love these, love these uh, Japanese toilets. Uh, here's the shower. And uh, here's the sink stuff. A bathtub with a view of the harbor. More of that later. And they do have the portico line of bathroom amenities here at this hotel. Um, let's go back. And here we have a mini bar. I have a couple of items from here. So there's quite a bit of liquid. Um, a lot of alcohol if one wants. But certainly those come at the price, right? Tea and coffee and a couple of complimentary water bottles. So let me let me turn a little bit. So here's the room itself. So this is a corner room. This is actually very spacious, uh, roughly 80 square meters uh, when you include the the bathroom as well. So the size wise, this is perfect. As you can see, this this bed is at extremely low level. I have no idea why. Um, this furniture was probably brand new, maybe 20 years ago. I mean, it's still fine, but um, one could call it a very classic. There was a couple of complimentary aquapana waters and three mandarins that I didn't hatch. And there's a TV and DVD video player. Does somebody still use DVDs? But the problem I have in this hotel, actually this is my third time in Osaka this year, and uh, very first time at this hotel. And I've been to more than 200, 200 highest hotels. So um, yeah, more than half of the full service ones if you exclude those higher places and uh, higher houses etc. So this is basically industrial wasteland. <laughs> Not really wasteland but you got the idea. So there's a lot of businesses up there. Here's the harbor you know and uh, there's exhibition center next door but this is really far away actually from the city center and from anything where you actually want to be. So choose this hotel only and absolutely only regardless if you hire them and whatever status you have with the Hyatt because it will waste at least two hours its day if you want to leave hotel twice to the city center so it's minimum half an hour its way by the complimentary bus, shuttle bus or by taking the, uh, the public transportation and I much prefer the intercontinental hotel right in the city center over this Hyatt I mean the view is nice if you don't look at the that you have the industrial pond over there with all those pipes uh, something coming out from the pipes to the uh, to the air but the CV is fine okay but the location is absolutely horrible and I'm actually going to go and check out the Hilton next and to where I'm going to the intercontinental before before flying out so again this is the uh, higher Regency Osaka and uh, Japan and this was a um, corner king 20 oh nine